Welcome everybody to SMF Wrestling Extreme Rules, the horror show. I'm Cosmo, I'm Fanlocks, and I'm Jim, guys, and we are finally here at this pay-per-view event. SMF Wrestling Extreme Rules, the horror show. Now, tonight, you can expect crazy matches like the in-ring debut of The Fiend Bray Wyatt, but also in the main event, Blue Belt Champion Dennis will be putting his championship on the line in an Extreme Rules match against a mysterious Waldo. And also, The Undertaker and Kane are going to be putting their tag team championship on the line against the AOP. So we have a stacked card here tonight. So let's get this show started. Extreme Rules starts right now. The following contest is set for one fall. And it is a no best qualification match for the Intercontinental Championship. It's using a challenger, the big dog, Roman Reigns. And the big dog, Roman Reigns, is in action. A former Blue Butt Champion and the winner of the SMF Wrestling Royal Rumble of 2020. Roman Reigns is here and his long rivalry with his opponent tonight might finally come to an end if the big dog can pull off the upset here in this match for the Intercontinental Championship. And his opponent, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Wario. And Wario has been one of the longest reigned Intercontinental Champions of the modern era here. But now Wario is here with the biggest challenge yet with his long-lasting rivalry against Roman Reigns, which started at Money in the Bank, but now they finally get to settle things here. One-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship. And the prestigious Intercontinental Championship on the line right now. We are starting off SMF Wrestling Extreme Rules. And these two cannot wait to get their hands on each other. Oh, what the heck? A low blow right to Roman Reigns. And this match is a no That's qualification. It's all legal. Oh, and another one. That's two low blows. But it's all legal. And the cover. One, two. Oh, Reigns still kicked out. And the champion is shocked. But he's the one who chose this stipulation and a strike there to Roman Reigns. And he took advantage with two low blows, which is all legal here in this match. And uh-oh, he's going under the ring to grab that steel chair. He's going to go for a strike. Roman Reigns moved out of the way. Superman punch. Roman Reigns hit the Superman punch. Roman's now in the corner. Ooh, ah. Spear! But Wario moved out of the way! He was that close to losing his Intercontinental Championship! Oh, an elbow drop of Roman Reigns was standing! That's gotta hurt here! And look at this! Oh, a chair saw it! Oh, another one! And now Wario's gonna go to the top rope! As he dies! No! Roman moved out of the way and Wario hit his elbow on the chair! And a spear! Spear by Roman Reigns! Wario is hurt! Oh, another spear! Wario's back of the head hit the chair! One! Two, three, oh! Here is your winner and the new Intercontinental Champion, Roman Reigns. And over five months, Wario has held that Intercontinental Championship. But right here tonight, we witness history. The big dog, Roman Reigns, just defeated Wario. The first man to take that championship away from Wario. The big dog, Roman Reigns. Reigns supreme as he raises the championship over Wario, his long rival. I never thought I'd see a day when Wario loses the Intercontinental Championship. But oh my gosh, guys, a celebration for Roman Reigns as he walks away with the Intercontinental Championship. Wario has finally been beaten in his own match that he chose. Roman Reigns is the new Intercontinental Champion. Wow, what a way to start off Extreme Rules. Gumby with the roll up. One, two, three. He got him. Gumby is now on top of the world with his win. Shizuke has to be humiliated. Wait, wait a minute, what the heck was that? Uh, guys, why? What the heck is that behind Gumby? It's the Fiend. He's here! Oh, what the heck? He's putting the man of a claw! The man of a claw here is going on Gumby! Why is the fiend doing this to Gumby? <laughs> Over the past week on social media, a video leaked out of you as a teenager. Pooh, who the heck is this Bray Wyatt guy? <laughs> you know, if I was a wrestler, I bet I could beat this Bray Wyatt guy. <laughs> Look at him. When I grew up, 
I'm gonna become a wrestler and I'm gonna challenge Bray Wyatt because I bet I can beat him. Are you scared, Gumby? Are you at all scared of a fiend? I I don't know. Just listen. I I if, I, I think I need to go. Wait, wait. We're in the middle of an interview. I'm out of here. Wait a minute. What the heck, guys? What is that? Watch. What a video package that was. And here we go. The falling contest is set for one fall. And you see first, Gumby. And usually Gumby is more energetic as he makes his way down to the ring. But tonight he seems to be focused on his challenge ahead of him. Because nobody really knows what we're about to see here as the in-ring debut of a fiend is about to go down and Gumby was brave enough to step up to the fiend so wish Gumby luck everybody here we go oh what the heck guys wait a minute where did that giant TV come from is it Firefly Funhouse episode what the What am I looking at right now, guys? And his opponent, The Fiend. What the heck was that, guys? And on the outside, Gumby looks to be shaking in fear as all of us and everybody in the crowd right now as that was one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my career, guys. And Gumby is slowly getting in the ring to face his opponent for tonight. Well, guys, the bell has rung and the match has started. Gonna go to shot. Oh, my headbutt there! Right to Gumby. Oh, and he is stomping down on Gumby. The Fiend is now striking at Gumby, and Gumby has no time to get up here. And the Fiend, oh, he's gonna put him against the ropes here. Oh, and he continues to strike down Gumby. Gumby has no chance. Gumby is in the corner, probably hurt. And oh, oh my gosh, Gumby took down the Fiend. Wait a minute. No, he gets back up here. Oh, and oh no, multiple headbutts. Now the Fiend is now grabbing Gumby by the mouth. He's gonna lift him. Up, but oh, Gumby! Gumby moved out of the way! Gumby moved out of the way! And look at this! But no, what, what the heck? What is the fiend doing? Gumby doesn't know what to do. Oh! Then wait a minute, what's the fiend doing? It looks like he like is holding his head right now. I don't know what's he doing. What is he doing? Oh! And he strikes down Gumby here. And now, oh! Oh no! Look at this! He's putting the mandible claw! The mandible claw! On the Gumby here! And Gumby's being choked out right now! And the fiend has now got him in a pin here. One, two, Three. That's the end of the match. Here is your winner, The Fiend. Just like that, The Fiend made quick work of Gumby. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't see anything, guys. Uh, the wire lights off. Wait a minute. What, what the heck? What the... Uh, what did we just witness?
Well, it looks like the referee is uh, checking on Gumby, who uh, I don't know what's going to happen to him. But um, anyway, guys, uh, we're going to get into our next match here. Uh, we didn't call Extreme Rules the horror show for no reason. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, guys. Yeah, me neither. Can we just move on? Uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> The following contest is set for one fall, and it is for the Tag Team Championships. Interesting first, accompanied by the SMF, Asaya, Seth Rollins, Akum, and Razor, the A-O-P. It is now time for the long-awaited Tag Team Championship matchup, and could Seth Rollins lead the AOP to the Tag Team Championships? Well... They're already here! The Undertaker and Kane! And they're going after the AOP here! Undertaker and Kane! With a double choke slam to the AOP! And now Kane with the clothesline over the top rope! And the Undertaker is now back up! Tombstone Power Driver! And has the match even started yet? No, no. Oh, and what is Seth Rollins doing? But they both grab him up and a choke slam, but now the AOP here are grabbing Seth! Oh my gosh! The Undertaker and Kane have just teleported! <sighs> Got me. Got me, please. Help me. Oh, and back the ring. It's not looking good for the AOP as a tombstone from Kane. And now Undertaker drops both members of the AOP on top of each other. Please, Gumby, go. Go in there. Go. Go. What the heck? Is he sacrificing Gumby to the Undertaker and Kane? Well, I think the Birds of Destruction are the last people that Gumby will us to see, especially tonight. But a super kick to Kane! Seth is now face to face with the Undertaker. A kick there to the midsection here. And now he's going for the stone. Oh, oh, what the heck? It looks like Seth just injured his, his leg after Undertaker and Kane are nowhere to be seen. What the heck? Oh my gosh, and Seth Rollins is not going back, and what the heck, he looks confused as everybody else, and I don't know where they went. <laughs> Just a few more moments until the end of the Wodo hype. <laughs> hey, excuse me there, buddy. Oh, the two idiots. <laughs> what do y'all want? Why are you bothering me? Well, listen, Phineas, I know we had our differences, in the past few weeks but listen buddy we understand that you're going through a really tough time and we just want to know that you have Wado tonight Wado! shit it's okay Ralph it's okay you have Wado tonight and uh, ask us I mean he really does something to you so listen we know that you're hurt so just after your match tonight Consider coming to our therapist. Our therapist will help you. Yes, buddy, please! Wardo is one! Uh, uh, I don't want to talk about Wardo! Ralph, come back! Uh, just listen, please. Consider our therapist, please. Uh, Ralph! Uh, enough about this stupid therapist. I don't want to hear it. Like, Scoob, Bunny, and Rick and Ralph have been acting really weird. Yeah, weird. Like, ever since they went to the therapist, they've acted all happy. Yeah, happy. I know, Scoob, that's kind of mysterious. Yeah, mysterious. And you know, Scoob, we solve mysteries like we should solve who their therapist is. Are Scooby-Doo and Shaggy going to go find out who... The bunny and wreck a therapist is? Well, I'd like to know. But yeah, well, we're not done with Extreme Most tonight because we still have two more matches. The following contest is a tables match for the United States Championship. Introducing a challenger, Drew McIntyre. And over the weeks, ever since Jeff Hardy took the championship away, from Drew McIntyre, Drew has hunted down Jeff Hardy, and Drew has specifically told Jeff Hardy to bring something different if he has any chance on dating Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre doesn't want the same old Jeff Hardy, he wants something new. Well, let's see what Jeff Hardy brought to the table here. And there he is. And let's see what's new. Oh my gosh! The charismatic Enigma has shown up here to defend the United States Championship. And this must have been what Drew McIntyre wanted. And his opponent, he is the United States Champion, Jeff 
Hardy. And a fresh coat of paint here for Jeff Hardy as he's going to put that championship on the line right now in a tables match. And the United States Championship on the line here as the bell rings and the match starts. A kick to the midsection there and he goes for it. Knocked her out the way. Claymore kick. What the heck? A Claymore kick already. And another one there. That's two Claymore kicks if he could pin in this match. Jeff Hardy could be out, but this is a tables match. And now Drew McIntyre is bringing out that table from under the ring. And he's going to set it up on the outside. Side, and now he's gonna climb back into the ring. Climb back in. No, no, what the? Oh my gosh, the table broke. The match is over. Here's your winner, and still the United States champion, Jeff Hardy. Drew McIntyre was shot. That was the quickest tables match in history. No, but another Claymore King. And Drew McIntyre has to be furious as another one. No, a kick and a twist of fate on the ropes. And the United States champion, Jeff Hardy, grabs his title and goes backstage. That was the quickest. Tables match of all time. Drew McIntyre has to be humiliated after that. Well, anyway, guys, it's now time for our main event tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is an extreme rules match for the Blue Belt Championship. Introducing the champion, Phineas. And one of the most hated and controversial men of all time, Phineas is here and he has talked up a big game here tonight as he goes in to probably one of his toughest challenges yet and is already challenging title reign. He has to defend his title against somebody who we're not even sure is going to show up here. So uh, let's see. Lord, Lord, oh, don't let your fans down. <laughs> Get ready to be disappointed. <laughs> well, guys. Is Wado going to show up? Let's find out. Oh, that's his music. Come on, boy. I know you're here. Come on now. I hope he comes out, guys. Oh, he's here. I don't think Phineas sees. Wardo's here! He's right behind Phineas! I told all you, Wardo wasn't gonna show up! Ha ha ha! Whoa! And Phineas kind of looked jump scared there as Wardo's here! He actually showed up! He's here! And I don't think that Phineas thought that he was actually gonna show up, but he's here! And now, he's giving the referee that championship and the prestigious top prize of SMF Wrestling, the Blue Boat Championship, is on the line here. And this is actually happening, guys. Extreme Rules match, main event time. Let's go, the bell has rung! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's nice to see you face-to-face, -face, Wardo. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready to be humiliated and embarrassed. Oh, oh, Slop's there. No, no, Phineas is fighting back. He's taking him down. Wait, what the heck? Where'd he go? You have got to be kidding me. Oh, a super kick drops Phineas. Now he's lift him up here. A DDT drops Phineas again. Oh, another kick. Oh, another kick here. And now, uh, oh, Wado is on fire and a suplex <laughs> over the ropes to Phineas. Oh my gosh, Phineas cannot believe it of how much offense that Wado is getting in right now. He's gonna get back in the ring. And wait, what the? Where'd Wardo go? No, this is not funny. I'm not losing my mind. Wardo, stop being a coward. This is getting annoying. Wait, slam down to the mat there from Wardo. And now he's going off the ropes. And he's going off the other rope for a splash. Oh my gosh, Phineas moved out of the way. Wardo's down. <laughs> oh, a top rope leg drop in the cover. One. Two, wait, what, what the heck? Where's Wardo? No. Yo, you know I was just pinning him. I saw you try to count. Oh, a chair shot knocks down the blue belt champion in the cover. One, two. Oh, Phineas kicked out. Wado would have been blue belt champion. What the? Blue, uh, yeah, Wado. <laughs> I don't know where you went, but you left your chair here, you idiot. Now I've got a chair, and when you show up, you're going to be knocked out cold. <laughs> oh, another chair. Another chair there from Wado, and now another cover. One, two. Oh, Phineas still kicked out, and that's two chair sauce. Phineas just kicked out at. Wait a minute, and what's Wado doing? He's grabbing up two chairs. Wado's not going towards the. Oh! A Phineas poke just dropped Wado. Is that the end of Wado for the cover? One, two. Oh my gosh, he kicked out of the Phineas poke. Wado kicked out of the Phineas poke. Phineas is shocked. Wado has went out of the ring. 
I saw you. I know you're hiding under the ring. Oh! Was that just a shot from a sledgehammer? Oh my gosh, that's it. One, two. Oh, he still kicked out. What is it gonna take to put Phineas away? Wardo has done everything. Oh, and look at this here. He's gonna pick him up for his finisher. Where's Wardo? No, Phineas. You idiot. Oh, wait, what the heck? Phineas is grabbing a table from under the ring. How? What is he gonna do to Wardo? And now he's gonna set up that table on the outside and, and no surprise, he's gone. I don't care where you went, Wado, when you show your face, and I know you will. You're going right through this table. <laughs> where are you at? And now we're on the hunt for Wado again. Where'd he go? <laughs> Come on, Wado. <laughs> I can be here all night. <laughs> Do any of y'all see Wado? I don't. Wait a minute, wait, no. No way! Wado is on top of the stage! The entrance, Titan Tron! I don't think Phineas notices where Wado is! Oh, now he sees! Get down here, you coward! Wado is on top of the entrance stage! He's not moving as Phineas is downstairs screaming at him. Wait, what the heck's Wado doing? What's Wado doing? Wado has now hijacked a camera from the camera crew! Get down! Where'd you go? It appears Wado has disappeared. Oh my gosh! Wado has struck Phineas with the camera! And he's putting him on the table now. Where the heck did he go? What? How? How is he back up? Don't tell me he's gonna jump. Don't tell me he's gonna jump. Wado, no, no. Oh my gosh! Wado has just put Phineas through the table after jumping on him from the top of the entrance Titan Tron. Phineas has to be out. We have a new blue belt champion. All he has to do is pick him up and cover him. Now he's gonna pick him up here. Where's Wado? Where'd he go? What the? Oh, he's back and a cover. One, two. What? He still kicked out? What does he have to do to put Phineas away? Phineas somehow still has life left in him as Wado picks up that sledgehammer and drives it into Phineas's face. Oh my gosh. And a Wado here with a suplex onto the chairs. I don't know how Phineas is still fighting. Whoa. Wado has his signature, his cane. Wado's signature cane is out here, and now he's just gonna try to lure Phineas up to his feet. If Phineas can even stand after all he's been through, what is he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna use his cane to lift up Phineas by the nose here. Oh, he slaps Phineas with the cane. He's gonna lift him up again here. Oh, oh, just throwing the cane on top of Phineas. And now look at this here. Look at this. <gasps> Over the top rope. A splash onto Phineas back in the ring. And now Wado is not going to pick up Phineas again for another Where's Wado. Phineas recovers. Phineas Poke knocks down Wado. Wait a minute, look at this. He has a trash can. What's he doing with that trash can? He's grabbing that lid and oh, just totally took down Wado. Sending him right out of the ring with the lid of the trash can. It seems Wado has not moved since as Phineas gets him back up. Oh my gosh, a wooden hammer. Wado had a wooden hammer. Wado just fell down as Wado's struggling to get up to his feet. It seems Wado kind of is a little bit struggling right now, but he's picking up that hammer right now, that wooden hammer, and he's going to lift up Phineas here, and he's going to strike him. Phineas moved out of the way. Backbreaker! A backbreaker to Wado. Phineas poked to Wado. And now he's grabbing up that chair. Oh! Chair shots to Wado. Phineas has got him. Phineas has got him now. Multiple chair shots to Wado here. And now, oh, a shot with that... Trash can, and I was gonna lift up that wooden hammer, and oh, he's slamming it onto Wado for another Phineas poke. Wait, Wado now has summoned behind, but he fell. I think Phineas hurt Wado. I think Phineas hurt Wado, and what is he gonna do? Wait, what the heck? He's removing the rope. Phineas is moving the rope, and now Phineas now is tying the rope onto Wado. Oh my goodness, Phineas is choking the life out of Wado right now, and Wado can't tell it anywhere. Phineas poke. Phineas poke, oh, and multiple Phineas pokes there to Wado here. Oh, chair shots after chair shots, and now the lid of the trash can. Wado's down. Phineas poke, right to Wado. One, two, three. Here is your winner, and still the blue belt champion, Phineas. I cannot believe my eyes. Wado has just been pinned for the three count. Wado has been defeated. He can't go nowhere as Phineas has proved what he was saying was correct. Phineas just defeated Wado. He's looking right at him. Wado cannot move after the brutal attack by Phineas. I cannot believe this, guys. Phineas retained his championship. Wado's undefeated streak is over. Phineas is still the blue boat champion.
Guys, I never thought I'd see this day when Wardo is defeated. But look at the look on Phineas's face. I mean, he can't believe it himself. He actually beat Wardo. <laughs> <laughs> I told you! Oh, get out of here! <laughs> I am the champion forever! <laughs> I told you! <laughs> Wait. My nose, my nose, my nose, my nose, my nose! I can't believe it! It's Ferb! Ferb is returned here! Ferb smashed there! Now look, Ferb smashed there! My nose, my nose, my nose, my nose, my nose! Oh, look at this! A Ferb smash! He is taking it! To Phineas here! Oh! He's slamming him, slamming down there! Did you see my nose? My nose! My nose! Burb smash! The Booba champion! My nose! Burb is back in SMF wrestling! What the heck? <laughs>